How's it going? I'm well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. I'm excited to be talking to you. Uh, I love the the new EP, uh, the music so far. And I noticed though that it, it seems like the progression of the EPs and singles so far, it's been like. I don't know if I was an artist, this is like the perfect slow build that's been coming up for oh, you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there's been quite a few EPs, yeah. <laughs> Three, to be precise. Yeah. And another one on its way. That used to be such a, a big point of conversation, too. Like, oh my God, you're doing EPs, EPs. But that's, I don't know, I guess it's become the new norm now. Um, especially if you're an artist just getting on your feet and, and trying to introduce yeah. yourself. It's a nice way to get your toe in the water. I don't know. It's Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think it's like a good way to experiment as well. I think because like you are able to kind of, I know because it's become more normal. It's not. It, it's like a viable way of um, releasing music. So it gives you like a chance to kind of yeah find your feet and see what kind of music you want to make. Yeah, and and that's sort of what you've been doing. I mean, it's. I guess it's almost like working out the. You know, not that there's kinks, but it's almost like working out the whole process in in front of yeah. everyone. Um, exactly. And, and like, so you go into this new, well, the newest one that came out last November was Swim Against the Tide, uh, which, you know, it's been written about a lot in the reviews and everything. It, it does seem like a bit of a jump in songwriting, in, uh, in production. Oh, thank w- you. Were you able to go into this EP with a clear vision uh, of what you wanted? If I'm not completely honest, I kind of, I never really, because like, obviously the, in the studio, it's kind of, we don't actually do that much in the studio. It's not like we go in and like, finish the record it's kind of already finished when it's in the studio i'm just recording vocals and like basically making things sound better like versions of what they already are so i kind of never really have a vision it's quite yeah i never really have a specific vision i kind of just like choose which songs i'm going to do and they just happen to turn out that way rather than kind of like forcing it and how much Um, is it for you then is like um completely your own work versus collaboration with whoever you're working with producer or other musicians i mean how how much is it is still all you before it gets turned over to everyone else um i'd say well i write all the songs completely and like most like the production wise like most of the elements of the songs are there but i work with um this guy george who's a lovely guy and he um is like well he's just he has very similar tastes and stuff to me and he's like like a lot more experience in mixing and like and he adds like quite a lot of elements of like i don't know he'll i'll turn up with these like horrible sounding drum samples and he'll like go like okay well let's take those and then make them sound really good you know so it's kind of like that but i'd say like obviously yeah all the songs are completely um my own and i i'm very heavily oh yeah i produce it i co-produce it so yeah and i'm and more and more i'm producing i don't know it's always good to have someone to bounce stuff off so i'd never want to solely produce on my own you know i'd always want someone there which is what i have with george which is great i like yeah. that you uh qualified him as a very lovely guy like that 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 had to be a part of <laughs> yeah no it has to be i think you have to like um yeah you have to like adore who you're working with otherwise it'll be hell <laughs> <laughs> w- then with your sound because again that's something else that's been written about you have this beautiful ethereal sound that's kind of come as one of your trademarks, did that completely come from you as you're writing, or was that another part of, you know, finding the, you know, within the collaboration once the studio was there? I think, uh, yeah, no, I think it came from me. Like, most of the stuff, like I said, is, like, pretty much done on my laptop, and then I'll bring it into the studio and we'll kind of, like, basically make it better, mm-hmm. <laughs> make it sound better, and, like, George will introduce, like, certain, like, ideas and certain sounds and, like, but um, yeah, like I think that etherealness. <laughs> I find it quite funny calling myself my own music ethereal. But, um, I, it's okay because I call it, so you're just repeating me. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm just I'm just repeating. You. But I guess yeah, no, it definitely comes stems from me. It's not again like nothing's ever really uh, predetermined. It just kind of just sounds like that. Mm-hmm. In fact, if anything, I probably originally used way too much reverb, so it sounded like I don't know. It sounded like I was in a church that was way too big, and the microphone was way too far away <laughs> and uh i guess taking it to the studio you realize oh actually people like want to hear the words sometimes maybe <laughs> so maybe you have to take a bit of that it's funny though because we're not talking about that long ago you know it's almost the way you talk about it. it's like these songs have been and i don't know how old your oldest songs are at this point uh, under the japanese house at least but i mean all this has sort of happened in only what a couple of years two or three years or at least that's perception on this yeah. side what? well i guess yeah exactly like i'm um, I've actually been making music since I was, like, 
well, for like, I don't know, 10 years or something, mm-hmm. and like producing music for about eight years. But obviously, like, I hope I've massively improved since eight <laughs> years ago. Um, but like, yeah, for example, like Still, the this, this, um, first song I released, or even Face Like Thunder, they were written when I was about, like, they're written, how old am I now? I'm 20, I'm 21. You've already forgotten. Uh, Amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're written like, I guess, like five years ago. Wow. Which is that quite a long ago. time. Ago. Yeah. And, and, and again, right. you know, the production and style of, of, of Face Like Thunder versus, you know, a, an EP, it actually sounds like this is something that you were able to take recently. So I, I guess that says a ton about where your songwritings came from or went to. Yeah, I, I think, like, obviously, songs, like, totally evolve, like, in five years. You know, there's, like, old demos, and I'm listening to them, like, oh, my God, like, what was I thinking? And, like, lyrics and stuff change, and, but, like, I think there's such a blurred line between, like, writing a song and the production for me. Like, they kind of come hand in hand. Um, I guess the song is, like, the lyrics and the chords, but actually you can take those things and make a completely different song. So, it's, yeah, it's very, like, blurred thing what writing and producing is for me. And then you know, you're talking about the lyrics and everything, and I would like to center on a couple of those songs, too, on uh, on this latest EP, because one of the songs that's been the most written about, of course, is Leon. And I'd be curious, because I've heard the story of where the inspiration of that song came from with the movie. Um, yeah. How much of it, the, is it completely there, or does your own story also seep into that? Yeah, I think it's, well, it's definitely... I, was, I basically started writing, because I was like kind of obsessed with this, weird idea of the fact that Leon and Matilda was meant to actually originally were meant to be kind of together I guess and how that was kind of ridiculously strange but yeah and like but at the same time I don't know I just found it a very strange concept and then um and like a really sad like concept especially I don't want to spoil the film so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin it for anyone but anyway I just tried, tried to write about that and then of course being the egomaniac that I am, <laughs> it turned into be um, out to be about myself basically. But I was again, I was like, I think I was sixteen or seventeen, and I had been broken up with, so everything yeah. I was write, writing was just about that. <laughs> I mean, and then to kind of happen with a lot of artists too, and and I don't know how often you do that writing uh, sort of what become character songs, but you know, like where where does that when do you cross the line and how often do you cross the line when you're writing a song of another character that really ends up just becoming about yourself? Yeah, I don't know. I think I find it really hard to I think that's probably the only song I've written about that's not about like obviously about me. Mm-hmm. Actually I guess Let's by the Water, which is my second EP, is about I don't really know who that's about, but I wrote it, didn't really understand what any of the lyrics meant. And then I kinda of listened to it after about an hour after I finished recording it. And I was like, oh, this is about someone drowning themselves, <laughs> which I don't know where that stemmed from. But um, sometimes weird stuff can kind of creep into your subconscious. Yeah. And it's, it's quite weird because most of the time I'm, when I'm writing lyrics, I'm just like, oh, I'll just put this in, in, in there. Like, it's, it means absolutely nothing, but I'll just put it in there just for now. And then I'll listen back and I'll be like, oh, that's obviously about my feelings towards this subject or whatever. Like, yeah, it's, it's the great psychoanalyzation yeah. that a songwriter gets to. Like, you don't have to go to a shrink if you don't want to. You yeah. just write a song <laughs> and it's all there for everyone. Yeah, and then I can analyze it myself, give myself <laughs> advice. <laughs> So if these songs are even like, you know, five, six years old, like how many do you have in your vault that's just waiting to be produced? I have a lot of um, songs. But I, I mean, I'm producing, I kind of basically just produce on the road. I've got a lot better since the first EP, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I, I, can, I can do it now on the road on my laptop, which is, but I'm also, I'm such, I have such a bad attention span that I find it very hard to finish songs. So I probably have about... 50 unfinished songs hanging around on my laptop, yeah. <laughs> probably more. Because that, <laughs> so, just... I always just like, get bored and just start writing the next one. Yeah, I was just saying that's still really fortunate because a lot of artists at this point would be, okay, now you've had your success and your record label's going, okay, we need something else. You know, we, we, that's a story that's been told a million times and suddenly you're, you're faced with having to write something on the fly that comes out quickly and it seems like you're, you don't have that problem. I mean, if you need to, you can reach in there and find these things that are... Yeah. At least somewhat put together. That's that's handy. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it's um, it is handy, but it's also they do get quite annoyed with me for never actually finishing anything. But I'm kind of the person, like the kind of person that's like, I have all the things, and then they go like, okay, we need another thing, and then I'll just rush finishing them. But in the pressure, I think I come up with better 
better ideas, yeah. which is lucky for me. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know where I'd be right now. <laughs> <laughs> I find the, the, uh, my favorite lyric on this EP is when you say, I'm still thinking of a new way to say I miss you, because that is like the ultimate dilemma for every songwriter. Like, that's not even a line about your personal life to me. That's, that's like the songwriter's dilemma, yeah. finding a new way to say, I love you, I miss you, whatever it is. Yeah, I guess it is. Ooh, you just made me feel quite emotional <laughs> about my own lyric, which is quite funny. Um, yeah, no, I think I, that's a weird song because I wrote, that's, that's probably my most, off, definitely off that EP, but it's probably one of my most, like, precious songs, I think, because I wrote the, the chorus, was actually it used to be a verse in this song about someone who I knew um, growing up, and then they actually um, passed away, and then I wrote the rest of the song after they died. So it was like a weird situation where it was like a weird turn of events. Yeah, that's uh, it's one of those cool um, examples of something being so specific for you, but universal for everyone else. Yeah, no, it's like yeah, it's, I think it's one of those things like. People connect with a lot of, a lot of yeah. Obviously, there's like a wide range of things that people connect with, and no matter how specifically you can write about them, there'll be one person that feels that interprets it in a certain way that it can connects with it themselves. Which As I guess happened. is why music is so great. That's true. <laughs> so, is there a is there a timeline that you're able to talk about for the next release? Is that out there yet? I don't actually know any timelines. I'm very bad at this kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but you've turned in some songs, maybe. Yeah, I've written. Yeah, I've. I've. Uh, I'm just. I'm literally. Me and George are mixing the EP now. We're kind of doing it on. We're both. Obviously, I'm away, and he's um, back in England. So we're kind of doing it over the internet, which is fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, like it's going to be very soon. I. I, re- I, I mean, I literally. If I say anything, I'll just be lying because I have <laughs> no idea. But um, it'll, it'll. It's soon. Like not. It's going to be definitely. I'm going to say by the summer. All right. <laughs> I don't know. We won't hold you to it, but I'll look forward to hearing it when it does happen. Thank you so much. No, thank you for talking today. I really do appreciate it, and, uh, and thanks for the music. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, Amber. Take care. You too. All right, bye. Bye.